morning, everybody, and welcome to a class with me, Ava Monroe. Let's take some nice deep breaths before we begin and put ourselves in a beautiful place to start our work. Close your eyes, let your arms hang by the sides of the body, and take some slow, deep breaths. Feel that you can fill up the whole of the body with the breaths. And then as you exhale, be aware of the breath draining away, and as it does, allow your body to soften. Thank you. 
understand the moment. moment. We are next going to do one new take. So this is a standing pose and it's very good for strengthening the bones and the muscle groups. As you get older, you lose a little bit of bone density and this can start to help. So I'm stepping my feet apart and the weight is down in the feet. Legs relax. Right leg and foot pointing forwards and turning the left leg out of the hip. Heel in line with the heel. Bend in the left knee. Knee in line with the ankle. Knee cap tracking the second or third toes. So if the knee has collapsed in, turn the toes in as well. Arms out, no higher than the shoulders, and turn the head to look down the left arm. Slow deep breaths, relaxing with every exhale. Get heavy, place the hands on the hips. If it is with the arms and it's the front leg that's really twitching and a little bit painful, straighten the leg, the spine. Everything will strengthen with time. Down, straighten the leg and release the pose on this side. Come all the way back to centre. Don't just turn the legs around and go back into it on that other side. Coming back to centre and taking a moment is the most important part in yoga. Then when you're ready, step the feet apart. Work down on the feet, left leg and foot pointing forwards. Turn right leg out of the hip, heel in line with heel. Relax. Bend in the right knee, knee cap tracking the second or third toes, arms out, no higher than the shoulders, and turn the head to look down the right arm. It could feel completely different on this side. We must just go with it. We have a stronger side. Every time you exhale, soften the body. Don't tense up in the stretch, trying to hold it longer. That's the exact opposite of what you look so like. Return to centre. Feel that beautiful stretch. How it swipes the thighs. The spine may feel longer. Now sometimes people say to me, oh, after I've done one or two, I can really feel that in my lower back. Sometimes you just have a little bit of sensitivity in the back that day, or you've not used enough core control. But if you follow that pose with wide leg forward fold today, it will release any feelings that you've got going on in the lower back anyway. You may want a towel or a little cushion will do. If you 
if you're going to get your head closer to the floor. So I'm in the centre of my mat, the wide leg forward fold, and I'm going to step my feet apart. I want a wide stance, but I am not overstretched, so my weight is in the heels, the balls of the feet, and the pads of the toes. It isn't on the outside edge, pulling too much on the inner seams of the legs. Because that will really hurt as you go deeper. Core control, pelvic floor. Let the legs soften. Take a really slow, deep breath in. And when you breathe in, feel that you're filling up the whole of the lungs. So the ribcage expands to the front, the sides and the back. Exhaling and draping down. And as you drape down, the body softens and the head and arms become heavy, pulling you down towards the floor. If you're in midair, hold the forearms. If it's just the fingertips or the hands on the mat, Make sure that they are shoulder distance apart, at least, so you're not building up tension in the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Keep relaxing. Let all the tensions ever away. You might want to give the legs a bit of a jiggle if they start to tense up. And at any time, you can ease off the pose. Take a moment and go back into it. Some of you will be able to get the forearms to the floor. Don't tense up, it will act like a break on you going deeper. And if you're going for it, get your towel or cushion and place that right where the crown of the head would land on the floor. So the weight is still in the feet. The crown is just touching the tail of the floor here. I'm on the outside. 
across our ditches should I say the edges of my feet. I'm spiraling my right arm out so the shoulder opens as does the front of the chest. And then I'm going to push down in the heel of the hand and push down in the edges of the feet and I'm coming up into a side plank. Bend your knees and you come down back to where you started from. Then we'll swap sides. Ten deep breaths in the side plank is absolutely enough. Okay, you could do a couple more repetitions to each side if you wanted to, but it's not always necessary. Okay, so once more in my long Z shape with the legs. Top legs, which is in front of the bottom legs, foot. I'm on the edges of the feet. I'm behind the bursa, on that outside edge of my thigh. And my left arm is away from the body, fingers spread, fingers pointing away. Then I'm spiraling my left arm up. The crease of the inner seam of the elbow comes forwards. When I'm ready, pushing down in the heel of the hand, pushing down in the feet, don't turn the soles of the feet to the floor. You're on the edges of the feet on the way through the pose. Well done, beautiful. So we're going to finish with book openings. And this is a nice rhythmical movement that works the arms and the shoulders and releases the spinal column. You will need a towel or a cushion. So I think I've done about 10 there. I'm going to swap sides. Okay, so I'll turn, so I'm going to be facing you, so you can see the movement from a different angle. 
Lay down the line on your left side this time. Both knees bent. Knees will feel up to hip height. Left arm out in front of your palm up. Right hand now on top of the left. Breathing in. Taking the arm up and over to the floor behind me. Turn the head to watch the arm. Exhale. Back to where I started. And when you have finished, just come to lay on your back and make yourself as comfortable as possible for relaxation. I've taken my legs out long this morning and my feet are about a bit distance apart, but the legs and the feet are relaxed. Arms by the side of the body with the palms slightly upwards. Close your eyes. Take some very slow, deep breaths. As you breathe in, make sure that the tongue is relaxed in the mouth and you are not gritting your teeth. And then when you next inhale, imagine that your breath is travelling up the back of the spine from the tailbone to the neck. As you exhale, the breath is travelling down the front of the spine, from the neck to the tailbone. So your breath is looking the spinal column. Visualize the breath. Do give the breath a color. Then slowly bring the breath back to centre, back into your chest area.
Take a moment to become aware of yourself and your surroundings. Roll over to the side and come up to 